Welcome to our guide on growing tomatoes in recycled plastic bottles. In this innovative and eco-friendly approach to gardening, we'll show you how to repurpose everyday items to create efficient and space-saving trellises for your tomato plants. By using simple materials like twine and plastic bottles, you can nurture thriving tomatoes while reducing waste. Join us as we delve into this sustainable and creative way of growing delicious, homegrown tomatoes step by step. Prepare the bottles. Using scissors or a craft knife, carefully cut the bottles to create planting containers. For larger bottles, you can cut near the top, leaving a deep container. Smaller bottles can be cut closer to the bottom, leaving them shallower. Poke or drill holes in the bottom of the bottles to allow excess water to drain out. Proper drainage is crucial to prevent waterlogging, which can harm the tomato plants. When to transplant tomatoes outdoors, tomatoes are sensitive to frost. They should be transplanted outdoors after the last expected frost date in your area. This information can usually be found through gardening resources or local agricultural extension offices. Tomatoes thrive in warm soil. The soil temperature should ideally be around 60-70 degree F, 15-21 degree C, before transplanting. Using a soil thermometer can help you gauge this. Best potting soil for tomatoes. For tomatoes, an ideal potting soil should have a slightly acidic to neutral pH range, ideally between 6.0 and 7.0. Good quality potting soils should contain organic matter like compost, peat moss or well-rotted manure. This helps with moisture retention and aeration and provides essential nutrients. Caring for the plants. Place the bottles in a location where they'll receive ample sunlight, at least six, eight hours a day. Water the plants regularly, ensuring the soil remains consistently moist, but not waterlogged. If using seeds, thin out seedlings to allow proper growth space for the strongest plants. Support your plants. You can use tomato cages and many types of support structures to support your plants. Tomato plants, especially when they start bearing fruit, can become heavy. Without support, their stems might break under the weight, causing damage to the plant. By supporting the plants, you can position them better to receive adequate sunlight, which is crucial for healthy growth and fruit development. Remove suckers. Suckers are small offshoots that develop in the crotch joint between the stem and a branch. When removed, the plant directs more energy toward fruit production rather than vegetative growth. This can result in larger, healthier tomatoes. Removing suckers helps in increasing airflow within the plant, reducing the risk of diseases like blight or fungal infections that thrive in moist, crowded conditions. Fertilize your tomato plants. Using slow-release fertilizers like manure and bone meal can indeed benefit tomato plants. They provide a steady supply of nutrients over time, supporting healthy growth and fruit development. When using manure, ensure it's well composted to avoid burning the plants with excessive nitrogen. Bone meal is an excellent source of phosphorus, vital for root development and fruiting. Remember to follow the recommended application rates to prevent over-fertilization, which can harm the plants. Harvest tomatoes. Most tomatoes change color when they're ripe. For example, red varieties turn red, yellow varieties turn yellow, and so on. However, some varieties remain green even when ripe, like certain heirloom tomatoes, so it's essential to know your specific variety. Ripe tomatoes are firm, but slightly yielding to the touch. They shouldn't be too soft or too hard. I hope you like this information. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and family.